Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm here with Pat Keating. Um, Pat is one of our uh, benefactors, member of the benefactor circle. And um, I'd like to start off uh, by asking you, Pat, to give us um, some information about your professional background. Sure, David. So I've been on a uh, uh, lifelong journey of uh, discovery and personal unfoldment, and that's certainly true of my, uh, it's still reflected in my career. I've been involved in various ways uh, in individual and, uh, and organizational development, for that matter, uh, spending time, both uh, significant time as a teacher at the higher education level, I've been involved in uh, research centers, and then also have done quite a bit of work on the corporate side in uh, professional and managerial and leadership development, and uh, am in a, a role uh, uh, doing that uh, currently at Stanford University. I'm responsible for an organization that uh, develops staff, uh, managerial leadership, professional development of staff at, at Stanford University. So that's a little bit about my, my background. So um, you, you, you've had a, a keen interest in human development, and um, that certainly applies to you yourself. Um, uh, you've done quite a bit of uh, work in that area, and I'd like to ask you um, what drew you to uh, Waking Down in Mutuality and then more recently um, into uh, an interest uh, in the White Out Yoga of the Heart. Uh, what did you find uh, attractive about the work itself? Yes, yeah, so uh, actually, the I wouldn't put it quite that way. The the white hot yoga is not sort of a, a recent piece of my engagement uh, with Samuel's teachings and and Linda's work with Samuel. Uh, it really goes back to the the very outstart. Uh, I uh, knew of Samuel's. Uh, uh, of Samuel came across his uh, his book, uh, the Waking Down and Mutuality book, which uh, really uh, resonated with me quite a bit. And quickly, uh, through a, a process with him, got, gained access to the White Hot Yoga of the Heart, the the, the book that he's written, which really um, I found to be uh, a very activating, catalyzing kind of of text. It really got me really engaged in, uh, in, into the process. And what most interested me about what he, uh, you know, what he was saying was that um, this is a process that um, where you have to find the own means of your own realization. And Sanyo's, to me, always been a very uh, reflexive individual who doesn't uh, expect uh, of of anybody more than he expects of himself. So he's always been be skeptical, make sure this process works for you, uh, and it has. It's been uh, uh, over the last thirteen years. It's been a process whereby, through working with others and for being in mutuality with others, by being open to others, I've been able to open myself and sort of green light myself and find my own sort of spiritual grounding and and authority. And it's, uh, it's been a very activating, uh, and intensifying process over those, over those years that I've been engaged. So, um, uh, I'm you know, quite appreciative and, and, uh, of, of, uh, how that's what it's activated in me. And it seems as though, um, your appreciation, um, has also activated a, a desire to support Linda and Samuel's work. Um, can you talk a little bit about that to us? Yeah, that's very simply uh, expressing appreciation. You know, it's sort of giving back um, and uh, uh, appreciating uh, the impact of, of the teachings how the, uh, and the, uh, the process and its impact on me and saying, uh, you know, it, it just makes sense. And as it does in many areas of life, <laughs> To uh, to give back, you know, here at the university, uh, students are, uh, <laughs> and alumni <laughs> are uh, make this university go round by how they give back to the university. So it's really a, a natural to me a natural process to give back, but and in giving back, pay it forward so that uh, the next you know round of of students and uh, aspirants through can can take advantage. Uh, of the process as it resonates with them. 
So it's really that giving back and paying forward that to me is uh, kind of a natural thing to do. Well, um, I really want to thank you, Pat, for uh, sharing with us this, this evening and, uh, and for uh, your generosity. And um, it's certainly been a pleasure for me uh, to meet you uh, when I did back in December and to reconnect with you again now. So uh, I hope we can see, uh, see each other again soon. Looking forward to that, Thanks. David, for sure. Well, thanks a lot for being with us today. Great. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.